Guys, it's December 9th, 2021, and we are still remaining frost-free at this end of Salt Spring Island. So our last frost uh, this year, 2021, was uh, February 14th. Uh, we had a low temperature of uh, minus 0 0.1 degrees Celsius. The low this morning was 3.8 degrees Celsius. We have clear sky. I know it's raining in other parts of the coast because that's what they're saying on the, uh, on the weather this morning. So uh, who knows how long we'll go. Sometimes we can get a frost before Christmas. Sometimes our first frost is in January. Sometimes in February. It might even be next week. But I'm not seeing it right now at this point. So uh, you can figure out how many days we've been frost free to this point. If our last frost was February 14th and it is December 9th. So that's good when you're an exotic uh, gardener like ourselves. Um, we like long frost free uh, growing seasons and at this end of the island you're going to get one of the longest frost free growing seasons There's three different growing zones on Salt Spring Island, which I've told you guys before. Here's a Melangelica uh, Fuchsia frost tender leaves on it and it is still uh, blooming There's still flowers on it and the hummingbirds love these guys. I was buzzing around these guys. So um, Yeah, so in the jasmine you can see still green fatsias are blooming. Those ones are just about done some flowers in there um, so other areas of Salt Spring have had several frosts and uh, here on the very northern end of Salt Spring Island because we are a narrow point of land and there's more water than land uh, here, more water around us in a narrow strip of land you're going to get the uh, ocean to regulate the air temperature. So uh, this is the way it looks here right now and um, I think it's going to be a beautiful day. So we'll keep you updated and see when our first frost arrives. We've also had, we have already had some snow uh, quite a few days ago. We, we woke up to about an inch of snow, but by the afternoon it was already gone. It was rain, but uh, still never did drop below freezing. It doesn't have to drop below freezing to get snow. Anyway, uh, Trachycarpus palms are loving this weather. This is Trachycarpus country. That's what it is. They thrive up here. And when you get down into the southern states, southeastern states, it's sable country. But uh, these Trachycarpus palms love the cooler uh, late fall slash winter weather. And I mean the first day of winter is actually on December 21st. So it's not even winter yet. So let's see how long we can go. I'm kind of banking on a normal winter here. Normal winters are fine by me. I'm okay with it. A normal winter on the Gulf Islands is absolutely awesome. So uh, below normal is not so much fun. But we'll just have to see how things pan out. And uh, like I say, if it gets really ugly cold, sometimes it weeds out a few of the wimpy plants. We give each plant about three tries in our garden and strike three are out. So uh, Trachycarpus palms are completely foolproof. There is uh, no challenge to growing Trachycarpus palms here. All right, they do grow uh, pretty much weed-like. They're like everywhere. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Cheers.